at this point, I'm very pessimistic about it. We don't even know what dangers we face. We don't even know. And when I ask you that question, I want to ask you again, what percentage would you say were HIV positive, a blood test being taken in that school, Prince George County? Um, what percentage of that high school class would you say was HIV positive? Take a wild stab, uh, 20%. Mm -hmm. John Conyers told me 13%. And someone recently told me another percent. But it's 67%. 67% of the high school in senior Prince George's class. County senior, senior class. HIV positive. That's in this wealthy, relatively wealthy African American community. Mm -hmm. 67%. That is stunning. That is a stunning statistic. But more than that, when I was in Atlanta, I swore in a, a chapter, 100 women, Senator Stokes, a young woman that I got involved in politics. And I had Coretta come over and Martin, and the governor swore them in. And I asked the question, same thing, 10, 15. And um, uh, one of the teachers came to me after it was over, and she leaned over to me. She says, you know, I'm from Grady High School, and it's 72 percent there. That's in Atlanta. And I bought in a chapter in Willingboro, Virginia, Willingboro, New Jersey, and a priest was there. And he said, over here, it's 72 percent. We're going to have the same condition that Africa has now. And I had someone write up that report for I had someone do a study for me because when that young intern told me that, and he was one who wasn't even seeing his mother, and I had to get him back together, and I did. And she just died, he told me, and he buried her because he's on his way to becoming a millionaire down in Virginia with his father's people that were painting the White House, <laughs> the red room, the white room back in the day. And he's down there, and I went back home, and I got him back with his family. He had to bury. She died. But he's the one that brought me that information. But when my dear friend John didn't know 13%, I said, John, you got to do something about it. I had a lady that worked for, um, she's a friend of mine, Republican. But when she told me she had helped David Satcher write the final report on AIDS, I said, I want you to do a study for me on this. And when she returned it to me, the figures were not there. Yeah, they, they didn't want, you know, that known. Figures weren't there, that's what I wanted known. Because funds are now being sent to Africa. But all the medical talent that I've talked to, I said, what happens if we don't find any other cure? Uh, what's going to happen? What's the number of years? These students, now that's Prince George County, how many years do they have to live? 15 to 20 years. If they're 17 now, they'll be 37 now, 20 years from now. Same thing going on in Africa. He's going to be here, but we won't be here to tell it. Just like those folks there who aren't there to tell how that got started. And that's genocide of us as a people because we are obsolete. If you don't know computers, you're gone. You can't learn anything. So we're obsolete. And that's planned obsolescence. Genocide. Social, Hot. cultural. And they put them in prison. And then they, that's a, that's a factory. My husband has a friend that's a, um, that's a, um, uh, um, a friend that's a, what a, um, a minister that goes around to the prisons. And he was up at Riker Prison, and he was told by the chaplain there, this was ten, five, six years ago, that they take 10,000, 5,000 men dead from AIDS every year. 
that was five years ago, because they have a record of who has visitors and who doesn't. But it's an age factor. And then when they release those men, they've already told them through the music, do it doggy style. And the fastest growing age victims are who? Black women. So mm -hmm. that's what troubles me. That's why I feel very saddened by what's going to happen. And all of these DVDs will be playing, and nobody will know. And they will say, Dr. King is a hoe. And they put it in the language of the kids because they know what a hoe is. And they know what, uh, what's the other word I said? Uh, the other word I said was, uh, get the what on? Freak uh, on. Freak on. Mm -hmm. They get know the those words. On. Right. So the message was to them.